All right, let's take a look at simplifying complex fractions. Uh, there's two ways to simplify complex fractions. I'm going to just show you one of them. What we want to do is we want to look at all the denominators, the 2, the 4, the 6, and the 8. And we want to find the common denominator of 2, 4, 6, and 8. Well, the common denominator is 24. So I want to take the common denominator and I want to multiply it to each term. So this is going to give me 24 times 1 half plus 24 times 3 fourths over 24 times 5 sixths minus 24 times 3 eighths. So now let's see what we have. The 24 and the 2 cancel, so I'm left with 12. Here, the 4 and the 24 cancel, so I'm left with 6. And here, the 24 and 6 cancel, and that leaves me with a 4. And the 24 and 8 cancel, and that leaves me with a 9. I mean, with the 3. So now, I have 12 times 1 is 12, plus... 6 times 3 is 18 over 4 times 5 is 20 minus 3 times 3, so that's minus 9. So 12 plus 18 is 30 over 20 minus 9, which is 11. And there's my final answer. Alright, so let's take a look at another one. I've got an x, y, x, and y squared. So I want to get a common denominator, which would be x, y squared, and multiply it to each term. So times 3 over x plus x, y squared times... 2 over y over x y squared times 5 over x minus x y squared times 6 over y squared. Now the x and the x cancel a y cancels here, so I'm left with y. Here, the x's cancel, and here the y squared's cancel. So I'm left with 3y squared, y squared times 3 is 3y squared, x times y times 2, so that's plus 2xy over y squared times 5, and then x times 6, so minus 6x. Now, nothing's going to cancel, but we could factor out a y. So, But this right here is my final answer, or this is how I'm going to leave it. If I wanted to, I could factor a y out of the numerator which would leave me with y times 3y plus 2x over, and nothing in the denominator factors, so that's just 5y squared minus 6x. And you can see nothing cancels. And if you wanted to, you can factor the y out, and you can leave your, you can leave your final answer as, as this one. Okay? That would be correct. But, we can, and you can leave it like this. This is also correct. It doesn't matter which one you use. All right, let's take a look at this one. We want to get a common denominator of x plus 2, x plus 3, x plus 3, and x plus 2. Well, the common denominator is x plus 2 times x plus 3. So I'm going to multiply each term by the common denominator. 
So I have x plus 2 times x plus 3, x plus 2 times x plus 3, x plus 2 times x plus 3, and x plus 2 times x plus 3. Okay. Multiply each term by the common denominator. So here the x plus 2's cancel. Here the x plus 3's cancel. Here the x plus 3's cancel. And here the x plus 2's cancel. So that leaves me with x plus 3 times x minus 1. minus x minus 2 times x plus 2 over x plus 2 times x minus 3 plus x plus 1 times x plus 3. Now, I want to go ahead and fold this, 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 and this. I want to simplify the numerator, simplify the denominator. So, I'm going to fold this one. So, that leaves me with x squared plus 2x minus 3 minus x squared minus 4. Now, the x squared minus 4 we have to put that in parentheses because it's minus this whole thing. And that's over. And then I fold this. So that's x squared minus x minus 6 plus, and then I'm going to fold this, x squared plus 4x plus 3. Now I'm going to distribute this minus. Okay, so I have x squared plus 2x minus 3 minus x squared plus 4 over, and down here since I don't have any parentheses to get rid of, don't have to distribute like I did up here in the numerator, I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms down here. So I've got x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. And then minus x plus 4x is plus 3x. And then minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3. Now, let's combine like terms in the numerator. I've got an x squared minus x squared. That's 0. And so I have 2x. And then minus 3 plus 4 is plus 1 over the 2x squared plus 3x minus 3. And then I want to factor the denominator to see if anything will cancel. Well, the denominator doesn't factor, so this is my final answer. And that's all of simplifying complex fractions.